Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software. And on today's video, Confidence Scores, I'm going to show you a new feature in version 10. This new feature is used by the translator to determine how confident it is in what you've written or uttered to help determine if it should use special translation tools. I'm in Eclipse, and I'm going to show you what confidence scores look like in Steno files as well as voice writing files. Voice writers may already be familiar with the concept of confidence in each utterance. And this same concept has now been applied to Steno strokes, and it's available to all reporters within their Steno notes. I'm first going to open up my Steno file. And in order to view the confidence scores, I can adjust my note bar display while I'm in the document. To do this temporarily, I can right click in the note bar and just check confidence scores. And a bar with confidence scores appears to the right of my steno. If I want this information to always appear while I'm in this user, I can go to settings, display, note bar options, and check confidence scores. And now this information will always come up on every document that I open within this user. Additionally, if I open up the corresponding note file to this job, you see that confidence scores also appear within the note file next to each stroke, just like they do in the translated file. As you move through the document, each stroke has a confidence score assigned. And this number represents how confident Eclipse is that you wrote or uttered what you intended to. You see that in this case, Eclipse is very confident that I struck just two, but it's not necessarily confident that the next word was lay. And if I hit play to hear my audio, all of that stuff just to, you know, get lay a groundwork and I didn't. I see that in fact there was a snippet of audio dropped there. And so I can use confidence scores to indicate that I may need to check certain areas of my document to see if edits are required. And as you move through the document, each stroke will have its own unique confidence scores. Confidence scores range from zero to 99, with 99 being the most confident. And you see that when I place my cursor on simple words, the confidence score is almost always around 99. However, once I got to an area, where I had dropped some words, the confidence score was lower. The same information is available for voice writers. If I open up a voice file, and you see that just like in the steno file, I have a confidence score for each voice steno stroke. And you see that in places with lower confidence scores, if I hit play, CAC, my name is Ashley Hippodopoulos. You see that in this instance, Dragon was not confident in the information that it was providing because it didn't recognize the utterance Hippodopolis, and so it has a much lower confidence score for these strokes. And again, confidence scores can be used to indicate places where you may need to pay special attention. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they are also used by other translation features. Confidence scores are used by version 10's new boost feature, and it's important to have an understanding of how you can find confidence scores and how to interpret them before you begin using boost. And again, in order to enable or disable the confidence scores temporarily, you can right click in your Steno note bar and check or uncheck confidence scores. However, if you want to permanently turn your confidence scores on or off, you'll need to go to user settings, display tab, note bar options, and uncheck confidence scores to ensure that they will not appear when you open a different file within the same user. However you wish to view confidence scores is fine, as long as you know where to find them. Thank you for watching this video. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com.
please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications if you haven't already so that you'll be notified when we publish new content every week. Thank you so much and have a great day.